What's up, Crunkheads? This is going to be a tutorial on how to get your Crunker sensitivity into Kovacs. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is open up this uh, mouse sensitivity calculator. Uh, open it up in two tabs. I'm just going to reload these real quick. Um, you're also going to want to open up your Crunker client, of course. Um, first thing we're going to want to do in the first tab is scroll up until we find the game Crunker. We set that now. This unit of measurement, we want to set that to virtual. Hit that. Um, let's scroll down a bit. This um, zoom sensitivity unit of measurement, we also want to set that to virtual. Come down, game settings, field of view. Set that to custom. Um, window settings, this uh, mouse one, we want to open up your mouse settings on Windows. Oop, I've already got it open here. And you see there's 11 ticks down here. Mine's currently set to the sixth one, and most people will. That means you just leave it on the default value. If it was set to, say, the fifth value, you would set it to this one here, fifth. However, I'm on sixth, most people on sixth. <laughs> so I'm gonna set mine to six. Sorry, got a bit of a lisp issue. Um, this mouse, mouse counts per inch. Don't believe this. It's not CPI, it's DPI. If you have 1600 DPI, you'd set that to 1600. I have 800, however, I'm going to set that to 800. Um, now, let's go to our Karanka client real quick, if we can find it. And let's just scroll down. Don't use the search feature, just scroll down until we find sensitivity. Oh, look. Here it is. Um, my aim is supposed to be the same, I'll just fix that quickly, but my aim sensitivity, I'm going to copy that, game sensitivity value for the uh, hip fire, put that in here, scroll down, we got zoom sensitivity, should be on virtual, game sensitivity value, copy this, for me it is the exact same, Oop. paste it in there, next thing you're going to want to do is grab the um, field of view, I've got mine set to 90, grab this field of view and put that down here in the game settings field of view, field of view, oh, that's not it, 90 is what I use, um, put your field of view in there, not your weapon field of view, um, so if I just come back out here, there's field of view, that's the one we want, and there's also weapon field of view. Don't bother with this one. I put in 90, that's my field of view. 90 goes in here. So now we have our outputs are correct. Um, and here you've got a lot of choices as to what sort of sensitivity you want to convert. Um, if you want to do your hip fire sensitivity, uh, we're going to be looking at this value and this value, but I want my aiming sensitivity on detective, so. I'm going to grab this value and this value. I'm just going to open up Notepad real quick. Look. And what do we do? Detective. I'll grab this value, which is our centimeters a 360, which is how far you need to move your mouse to do a 360 degree spinning game. And the second value I'm grabbing here is this FOV 1 to 1, which is the viewing angle, um, basically the vertical viewing angle you can think of. Um, now we don't need the Crunker client open anymore. Uh, we're going to open up the second tab um, that you should already have open. We're going to scroll up until we find Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, or any Counter-Strike. Um, global Offensive. We're going to leave this one on Physical um, and open up copy the first value, our centimeters are 360, we want to put that in here, you see how it says centimeters are 360, same one, uh, you see here, centimeters are 360, put it in here, boom, um, don't worry about any of this garbage, don't even worry about the mouse uh, setting, that doesn't matter, but this DPI, we do need to set that to um, what our mouse DPI is, now, uh, you'll notice this value is the exact same as over here that's good if it's not you've done something wrong we want to copy this game sensitivity value this is the value that we would put in csgo if we wanted to match 
our, sens our CSGO sensitivity to our crunker. And um, little fact is that uh, it'll also work in all Source games and all Quake games, as long well most Source and most Quake games. So that 2.64, um, I could put that in CS:GO, I could put that in Quake, and it would be the same sensitivity as my Crunker sensitivity that I just calculated. Um, now we're going to wait for Kovacs to load, which takes forever. Thanks to the 2.0 update, shout out to the meta. You're doing great work there. Let's skip that. That's a speedrunning strat to save time on this segment. Uh, saves about five seconds. But um, I've had two birthdays in that time. Oh wait, it's not even fully loaded yet. Is it? I can't tell. I guess we'll never know. Right, come into here. We've got all these different options. Go into main. Sensitivity sales. <laughs> Sensitivity scale. Set this to Quake slash source. Now let's open up the notepad. Um, this value, the most recent one we just made. We'll copy this, paste it in here. Um, FOV, FOV measurement. We want to set this one to vertical. Wow. Um, and copy our vertical sensitivity. Boom. Uh, it didn't change anything for me because I've already done this, but um, you hit confirm and your FOV and your sensitivity you now should feel different. Uh, that feels right to me. Um, are there any Crunker scenarios? We could test. Or Revolver. What the hell? These guys have circular heads. That's not like Crunker. Well, anyway, that's the tutorial. I hope it worked. If it didn't, not my fault. Um, listen better. See ya. Try and others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. A baby born will die before the same chocolate rain.